Pierpaolo Petroni uncovered many of these bodies himself. He's trying to figure out exactly what happened and if anyone could have survived. Until now, it was widely assumed that most of the victims suffered a prolonged agony from suffocation by volcanic ash and gas. But there are no obvious signs of suffocation. If they should die by suffocation, we should expect to find them just defending themselves or trying to breathe. With both hands on their faces trying to do the last breathe. But in this case, we never have this kind of evidence. Far from struggling, the skeletons appear suspended in the last moment of life. In this case here, we have, for instance, a child, probably four or five years child, which is just frozen. And there, there is an old man just sitting with a child beneath his legs. So what did kill these people? Once again, the bones yield vital clues. The skull number 14 showed in the frontal region the sign of a fire particle that impacted with the face of the subject from right to left, producing these burn marks. Burn marks. The cloud was not only thick and poisonous, but hot as well. How hot, how fast? A lot of it depends on the, the exact nature of the pyroclastic density current. In some instances, it's very, very light and fluffy, but you can have temperatures from 200 degrees centigrade up to maybe 700 degrees centigrade. That's not unheard of. Hot enough to boil brains. This cow demonstrated a tragic date. In fact, the high temperature produced immediately the evaporation of brine, and this increase instantaneously the pressure inside the skull, causing the skull explosion in both side temporal squama, right and left. The cerebral material burst out. And there's something else. Inside the boathouses, there is a microscopic layer of red-colored ash, evidence of human blood. We found this red ash layer all up and below the skeletons. And the microanalysis revealed a very high quantity of iron within it. And the biomolecular tests show the presence of a hema of a human hemoglobin, which then testifies that this is the dry residual of the vaporization of flesh of these people. To vaporize flesh, blacken bone, and produce the thin layer of red ash, scientists believe temperatures reached 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 500 Celsius. no one could have survived. If these people on the beach were suddenly engulfed in dust and debris and ash at 500 degrees centigrade, these people would have been dead within two seconds. So not a prolonged agony. Death was mercifully quick. The stance of these victims tell us that they died very quick, just in a fraction of a second. Their bodies were frozen by a kind of uh, instant rigor mortis that crystallized the last activity of these people. It happened so fast, the sleeping children probably didn't wake up. 